What's up guys, Jake here from hookahrub.com bringing you a video review for Hookah Fina. Their newest flavor It's called Vegas Love. Alright, so Vegas Love tells you absolutely nothing uh, about the flavor, so this is going to be a good one. Alright, so first off, um, big shout out to the folks over at Hookah Fina. Thank you very much for sending uh, some samples over. Um, it's been a while actually since we've reviewed Hookah Fina on Hookah Rev, so I'm glad to get some more of this uh, stuff back in, uh, in the rotation here. Um, the one thing I've always mentioned is uh, I, I just love the hookah fina packaging. The cans are uh, are definitely unique and uh, I don't know, just really high quality packaging for sure. So, all right, so Vegas Love, what does it smell like? It smells very citrusy. So um, they hookah fina does have a lot of the good citrus flavors like Ruby Rush, uh, the pink grapefruit, and some other flavors. They they really mix the citrus really well. And I think um, this is kind of like a combination of a few different things. Maybe uh, some of the grapefruit going in there, but primarily for me, I'm smelling like a very sweet orange is how I, how I would describe it. Uh, the flavor smells very light, so really light, really crispy. It's not, it's not overly sweet by any means, and this is actually toned down a lot more than uh, what I've seen in the past from Ucafina, um, as far as the, the strength-wise. So um, one thing I did notice, and I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna take it out here or anything, uh, but the tobacco is a little bit less juicier than the first batches that I tried, which was I mean it was probably about six seven months ago. So it was a while. I don't know if that's any kind of change in the um, in the formula, but I just noticed that it's a little bit less juicy, not dry by any means, but just a little bit less juicy. And I was very curious to see how that was going to relate into the smoke. So I've been going for about 25 minutes in my KM Hamdi. Uh, I've got three coconars on there in the Vortex Bowl. Vortex Bowl is definitely going to be the way to smoke Hukafina. Um, so yeah, just check out some clouds here. You can see the cloud output's very good. Um, the having been less juice in the tobacco, it doesn't seem to affect it at all. Um, no effect on the smokeability of anything. It's if anything, it's just more stable. I'm, I'm trying to explain that better, but I can't. It's just it just seems more stable than it was before. So not that uh, in the past I've gotten a little bit of that harshness in the back. Just, I, I thought it was mainly from the tobacco, but maybe it was because, I don't know, maybe just the formula. Um, that, of course, could be all speculation, but that's just what I noticed here. So, yeah, the flavor is spot on from, the taste of the flavor is spot on from what I smelled, which was just a very sweet citrus flavor. So, it's like a sweet, I mean, sweet orange is, is how I can describe it. It's very, it is very mellow. This is a flavor that you could... I mean, there's got to be some sort of inspiration behind Vegas love. I mean, so I'm, I'm going to say that this is a, a flavor that I really could see in, like when you're in Vegas and you're enjoying a cocktail, you could just, I mean, you could smoke this flavor. I mean, it's, it's just so smooth and it just, I feel like it would pair with any cocktail or drink. Maybe that's what they were going for. So yeah, definitely not bad by any means. Um, I mean, I, I can't elaborate any more on the flavor. That's that's what I get from the from the taste of the smoke. It's a very sweet citrus, uh, primarily orange. Um, maybe even a little bit creamy, but I don't think there's any kind of vanilla or anything in there. Um, just a really smooth flavor, a little bit mellow. Um, maybe even too mellow, I would say. Uh, that would be the only drawback. And the flavor does die down a little bit faster than expected. So about the 40 minute mark. Um, it's almost gone. So, I mean, that's, that's a solid session, so it's not like the flavor dies out in 15 minutes by any means. Um, but yeah, just, I would think if the flavor was a little bit stronger, it, it might be even more enjoyable. Um, but overall, this is a great flavor. Uh, Hookahrub.com rating, we're going to give this one a 88 out of 100. Enjoyable, check it out. Uh, Thehookah.com, 
Uh, they seem to have the best availability for all Hukafina products. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, Hukafina actually came out with 50 gram packs, so it's like a little cardboard version of this. It's actually really cool looking. Uh, they seem to be in pretty limited quantities, so I mean it's a little bit harder to find like the sample packs, but it is great that now you can get a 50 gram sample pack of Hukafina if you've never tried it before. Um, they are a relatively newer brand, so I think they've been out for a little bit over a year now. So not entirely new, but they've got a lot of good flavors that you could, uh, that you, you, you could give it a try out to. So yeah, good flavor, good clouds. Um, yeah, those only things, like I mentioned, um, about the strength of the flavor, of course. So, until next time, this is Jake. See you guys later.